Welcome back, my kindergarten writers. It's time for some more writing with me, Mrs. Schoonerman, and I'm excited to get started. So yesterday, remember, we did some informational writing where we taught our readers facts about a topic, and yesterday's topic was all about wah, 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 chickens. That's what we did yesterday. So yesterday we drew a picture of a chicken, a diagram. We labeled the different parts of that chicken, and then we wrote a fact together, and then you went and wrote your own fact about a chicken or chickens. Today, though, we're going to do the same thing, but it's not about chickens. It's about another topic, and this topic has a very tall, long neck, way longer than you way longer than me. Their neck is so high up. What am I talking about? There's only one animal that comes to my mind when I think of really long necks. We are talking about giraffes. So what we're going to do today is we're going to watch a cool video about giraffes. We'll pay really close attention to the different parts of a giraffe. And then we're going to use our listening ears to listen to some different facts about giraffes. And after that, we'll make an informational writing piece together. So let's read our learning target. Today's learning target is I can draw and label a picture of a giraffe and then write two facts about them. Now, remember with our informational writing piece, every time we're going to make sure that we give it a title. The title tells the reader what the writing is all about. Then we will add a diagram or a picture. We'll draw a picture of a giraffe today. We will add labels to the different body parts that a giraffe has. And we will also add facts or things that we can prove about giraffes. Um, remember what a fact is. I just said it, and I know you're probably already saying it. Mrs. Schoonerman, a fact is something you can prove. It's different than an opinion where we have our own thoughts and our own feelings about things, and, and our opinions can all be different, but facts are facts. Facts stay the same no matter what. So today we're going to be looking at the facts about giraffes and then we'll make a writing piece about it. So what I want you to do, get ready. Get those listening ears ready. Get those looking eyes ready because it's about time to start learning some cool facts and pay attention to the different body parts of giraffes in this super sweet video that's going to start right now. Giraffes. Giraffes always have the best view. Tall necks and long skinny legs. Giraffes tower above all their friends. Their large bulging eyes give them great all-round vision too. Giraffes' bodies are covered with wonderful orangey-brown spots. This works as great camouflage. They still have to be very careful when drinking though. That's when they are most vulnerable to attack from other animals, like lions. Being so tall means they can eat from the tallest trees. Giraffes love to munch down thorny acacia trees. Luckily, their purple tongues are tough and covered in strong, bristly hair to protect them from the sharp thorns. Naughty male giraffes sometimes fight over girls. They do this by hitting their necks together. Their long necks crash into each other.
giraffes are really neat animals, don't you think? Could you believe what they do with their necks? When the boy giraffes are arguing with each other, they just whack each other with their big long necks. That's so silly. Well, I really enjoyed listening to that video and seeing some really neat facts and the different body parts that giraffes have. But now it's time. We're going to go teach our, we're going to make some writing so that we can teach our readers all about giraffes. So we're going to make an informational writing piece. But in order to make a writing piece, we need something to write with and to write on. So go get your pencil, go get a piece of paper. And if you don't have it right now, it's okay. Pause the video and come back as soon as you have your pencil and paper and we'll get right in together. I'll see you soon. Right, now that you have your paper and pencil, let's get started. So the first thing we wanna write is the title. The title to tell our reader what, we're, what our writing is all about today. And today it is all about giraffes. So that is going to be what we write. So we're gonna start writing, here we go. All. Starts with an A. Got a little nervous about my marker there. We don't want a dry marker. All. A L L. Leave a finger space. About. A. B. 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 And then we need an O U. About. What's at the end? It's a T. Yep. All about giraffe. Giraffes. Okay. Now, it sounds like it starts with a J, doesn't it? J, J. I hear a J too. But this is a wacky word, you guys. It starts with a G. So the way to spell giraffe is G. And again, it's hard to hear it. Jur. It sounds like an R is next, but you need to add an I. Now it's time for the next sound we can hear. Er. So R. Jur. A. A. Giraffe. Okay. F. And add another F. And it ends with an E. And we want to make it plural because it's all about giraffes. So add an S to the end of your title. Okay, all about giraffes. That's what our writing is about. That's the title of our work. Now it's time for the next piece. Now we are going to draw our diagram. We're gonna draw our picture. So I'm actually going to grab a brown marker for my drawing today. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up at the head. That's just how it's gonna work for me. I'm gonna start at the head of the draft. So it's got a head. I'm gonna kind of draw an oval shape for the head. And I know that giraffes have two ears. And then if you noticed, they have these interesting little things that look like little horns on top of their head. And that's what we're gonna call them, horns. Then they have two eyes, a nose, their little nostrils to breathe out of. And I don't know if you heard this part, but they have, did you hear this part about the tongue? They have a long purple tongue. So I'm going to make this giraffe stick out his long, purple tongue. How cool. A purple tongue. Are you kidding me? Okay. Now, he's got his tongue. Now, this does not look like a giraffe yet. It needs this big old long neck. So let's give him a big long neck. And then for his body, I'm just going to draw an oval shape. And then they have long legs. They have four long legs. And they have a tail. And they are covered in orangey brown spots. That's what giraffes are covered in, are orangey brown spots. 
So you can add some spots to your giraffe diagram. Ah, I like him. He's looking good. Remember, if you didn't have time to finish your whole drawing, don't worry, either pause the video or add some more high quality details after the video was done to your drawing to make it so that it feels right for you. But moving on, we're going to move on to labels. So we're gonna add the labels. Okay, so definitely the first thing I wanna label is the neck. So draw a line from your giraffe neck and let's listen to what sounds we hear in that word. Neck, neck, n, a, e, k, c. And this actually has a k as well. So this is how to spell neck, n, e, c, k, neck. Okay, the next thing I want to label are the spots. It's a very, that's, you know it's a giraffe. You can see that, you see it's neck, but you also always see those orangey brown spots all over them. So, spots, spots, sp, p, s, p, sp, a, o, spot, t. And they don't just have one spot, they have spots. So we need to add an S to the end of the word. Spots. Okay, now I'm definitely gonna label, you know how excited I got about this part, their purple tongue. So let's label their tongue, tongue. Tongue is a wacky word to spell. Let's listen to the first sound you hear. T, t, t. Now this is where things get a little silly. I'm just gonna show you the teacher way to spell this. Tongue, T, O, N, G, U, E. Okay. The next thing we are going to label, and the last thing that we're going to label together, is going to be his horns. Now, I gotta tell you something. There's actually a special name for the, for the horns that it has on top of its head. There's a fancy word and it's called ossicones. That's what they're really called. They're called ossicones. But for today, that's just a fun fact that I wanted to tell you. For today, we're, we are just gonna label it as horns. But if you wanna be real, real clever and really impress somebody, go tell, go tell someone that the horns on top of a giraffe's head are called ossicones and they'll have to Google it, look it up, and they'll say, well, how, how did you know that? But for now, we're gonna just label horns. Okay. <sighs> horns. Okay, I hear H at the beginning. Did you hear that H? I heard that H. <sighs> yeah. Ho, oh, horror, R, horn. N, and they're, they're not a unicorn. They don't have only one horn. They've got two, so we need to make it plural. So we need to add an S to the end of horns. All right, well, you know what I always do. I challenge you to add some more labels on your own. So there, I left a lot of things that you can still label. You could label the eyes, you could label his ears, you could label the nostrils, you could label the body, the tail, the legs, the, they have hooves at the bottom of their feet. Label any of those things, but I want you to pick three. Three more things on this giraffe to label when the video is over to hit part of your target. But we're moving on to the last part that we're gonna do together. So get ready, we're gonna start to write one fact about giraffes. So we learned a lot of facts in that video. We learned that they have orange brownie spots. We learned that they have very tall, long necks. We learned that they can re reach up to trees and just eat right off the trees. We learned that their tongues are purple and they're covered in these like, in this hair so that they can eat um, a special kind of tree that's called an acacia tree. 
And the reason they need to protect their tongue is because the acacia trees have a bunch of prickles on it and it's actually really thorny. So that's what they eat. They eat these thorny trees that are covered in thorns. So they have to protect it with their, with their really hairy tongue, hairy purple tongue. Pretty cool stuff. We learned that their horns are called ossicones and that they have really good vision since they're so tall they can see all around they can see for miles they can see so far away there's a lot of cool facts oh they and the, i didn't even talk about this part they actually have they said in the video they have big bulging eyes too so there's a bunch of facts you can choose one of those to write about but together what we're gonna write is that giraffes have long purple tongues. You probably guessed it. I love that fact about them. Okay, so remember good writers, we start our sentences with a capital. So we're gonna start the word giraffe together. It starts with a G. Remember this word is silly. The G does not make the regular G sound. It says J in the word giraffe. So G, I, Jurr, giraffe, giraffe, f, add another f, and then an e, s, giraffes, leave a finger space, have, h, a, v, e, that's a sight word, so we want to make sure we're spelling that in a snap, giraffes, have, Okay, next word. Long, long. Starts with a L, O, O. At the end of this word, long. It's hard to hear it. There's an N, G. Giraffes have long, purple. Okay, leave a finger space. Purple, P, and then add a U, Pur R, Purp, P, Purple, L, and there is a silent E at the end, so add an E at the end here. Giraffes have long purple, Tongues. And remember, a tongue was a really tricky word to spell. So just listen carefully and spell it with me. We can hear the beginning sound. T -t Tongues. So we hear the beginning sound. You know what that is. T a T. Yes. Yeah, so write a T. Leave your finger space. And then this is where the word gets all silly. We're going to do T. O. N, G, U, travel down, travel up, back down, bump, E, start, hit the ball, run the bases, stop. Let's read this. Let's see if it makes sense yet. Giraffes have long purple tongue. No, we need to add an S to it. That doesn't sound right. It sounds like it needs an S. Giraffes have long purple tongues. Yep, because we're talking about more than one giraffe. So more than one gi giraffes have all. They all have a tongue. So we need to have that plural at an S. Hmm. Are we done? Is that it? Hmm. What needs to go here? Punctuation. Yes, yeah, so add a period to the end to say our thought is done, our thought is over, we did it. So our sentence says giraffes have long purple tongues. Well, the next thing that's up to you is you gotta add three more labels to finish hitting your learning target today. And what else? One more fact. Yeah, we only have one fact. And remember our learning target is writing two facts about giraffes. So it is now time. I want you to think of one more fact that you learned today. Write that, add your three more labels to your giraffe, and then have a family member or whoever you're with take a picture of your writing 
and send it into your teacher so that we can see your awesome writing work. And I will see you again tomorrow. Everybody have a great day and thank you so much for joining me for writing again. Bye-bye.